Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to uh, uh, begin a short series of beers from uh, one of the better Japanese breweries that uh, I haven't actually done yet, and I'm kind of surprised I haven't. Uh, I've appreciated their beers for a long time, um, but I hadn't seen any for quite a while, and then recently I stopped into a uh, a liquor store and I saw that they had four of their beers so I have picked up a couple of them and I'll try to pick up the other two soon and review them. The brewery in question is called Fuji Zakura Heights or in Japanese Fuji Zakura Kogen beer and they are a, a subsidiary of a company called Fuji Kanko Kaikatsu Company Kaihatsu I'm sorry and uh, they were founded in 1997 uh, so, uh, in the first wave of uh, Japanese craft brewing, and uh, they are located in the northern foothills uh, of Mount Fuji in Yamanashi Prefecture, and their brewery and tap room uh, is located. Restaurant is located uh, at over a, uh, a thousand meters above sea level, and the brewer there is quite well known in Japanese craft beer circles. Uh, his name is uh, Miyashita Hiro. Michi. Uh, he appears at many craft beer festivals and he always has great pants. Uh, I'll try to show you some pictures of him here. Uh, and he's uh, very knowledgeable and he's very skilled at making German style beers. In fact, he did study uh, in Germany uh, before working at Fuji Zakura. Uh, and they also have a restaurant there called Silvans and apparently they're uh, Nomi Hodai, or All You Can Drink Plan, is quite exceptional. Uh, I know some people who've gone there a number of times uh, to take advantage of that. Rate Beer lists 85 beers for them, and Untapped has 144, which is quite, quite, quite a lot. And so, you know, a few, a few Japanese craft beer makers are really good at making German-style beers. Uh, Fuji Sakura is definitely among them and uh, Baron would be the other one that comes to mind. Uh, when craft beer started in Japan, lots of brewers uh, were making basic German styles as their starting, starting beers, uh, a, a Pilsner, a Weizen, an Alt, uh, things like that, a Kelsch perhaps. Um, and uh, most craft beer brewers have gone beyond that. Uh, uh, Fujizakura has to some extent, but pretty much they have stayed with the basic line of German beers and they do them very, very, very well. So uh, we're going to take a look at uh, two beers right now and perhaps later two more from Fujisakura Heights, Fujisakura Kogen in Yamanashi Prefecture. So the first beer we will look at from them is Fujisakura Kogen Weizen. Uh, which is a, uh, a wheat beer, of course, uh, classified as a Weisse beer or a Hefeweizen on rate beer. And this one is 5.5% and 12 international bittering units. Um, I have had this one, uh, but it's been over 11 years uh, since I rated it, so I think I need to give it a go again. Uh, and it is, uh, they classify it as a South German Hefeweizen on their website. Uh, rate beer, 67 ratings total, and the average is 3.66 out of 5, 90 percentile for all beers on rate beer, and get this, 100 for its style, 100 percentile for its style, Weiss beer, Hefeweizen, so it comes recommended. Uh, untapped, uh, 1,803 ratings when I checked, and the average was pretty close to rate beers, it was 3.61 out of 5. 5.5% 12 international bitter units and this beer cost uh, 528 yen where I purchased it uh, which would come out to about three dollars and 36 cents in US dollar terms and in euros 2.80 euros okay so a South German Hefeweizen uh, the classic standard wheat beer style and uh, some people don't like wheat beers are you one of them I, I have loved wheat beers, uh, you know, for years and years. Uh, uh, if you have a good one, it's just so sweet and, and, and smooth and, and has kind of like a, a pillow of sweetness on your palate from that wheat. Uh, let's give this one a go. Fuji Zakura's Bites In.
Okay. This one has sort of pale straw with a nice little finger of foam, kind of, uh, kind of dishwatery sort of foam, uh, dish soap rather. Uh, pretty hefty carbonation rising up there. Okay. All right. Now this one definitely has a, a solid lace uh, nose. Get the the substantial kind of cloud of of wheat malt. Some light clove. Let's see if this has. Does this have? Uh, hmm. Ah, here we go. Uh, malt and hops, and then malt is from Germany. And that is basically it. And un, some un, unmalted wheat as well in the mix. So, uh, interesting, nice initial flavor. Some kind of tanginess, kind of citrusy, unusual, I think. Good solid malt, uh, medium body. Um, this is not, I guess, not really up there with the really top ones, I think, in the world, although on Rate Beer it says they are. Um, and also this one, the drink by date is uh, August 12th, and we are now uh, just about a month away from that, July. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's not, it's at its freshest point. Uh, but if you have this on tap, it's really, really something special, I think. I rated this 3.8 out of 5 uh, when I had it, and that was from a festival pour from Miyashita-san himself uh, in Kyoto uh, 11 years ago. So, um, this is solid, uh, definitely. Uh, it has a nice light wheat tang. Hopping is rather minimal, as it, as it should be. It focuses on the, the wheat malt for sure. And that comes across well. Yeah, so this is a, a decent, solid beer. Uh, I would say you should give this one a go. Uh, try anything by by Fuji Sakura. If you happen to be lucky enough to be at a festival where they're serving their Sakura Bok, uh, you try that one for sure. <laughs> it's quite, quite, quite something. Okay, so once again, this is Fuji Sakura Kogen, or Fuji Sakura Heights in English, uh, Weizen. 5.5%, 12 international bittering units. Give it a try. And uh, uh, I found this at a Yamaya store. You may find it uh, in another store. Uh, certainly online you can purchase their things. And uh, I think if you're close in, in the Kanto area, you probably find it a little more easily. So really a classic, uh, a classic uh, Japanese craft brewer making German styles really, really well. Well, that is it for today. I hope you're doing well. Please take care and I hope you will subscribe to the channel. Tell me your experience with Fuji Zakura, uh, or if you've been to Sylvan's, the restaurant there. I've never been there, but I uh, hear it's really, really something special, and especially that Nomi Hodai, all you can drink, uh, special time. That's it. Take care. Bye bye.